Hello everyone, so I'm going to give my review on the classic Cheetah, Cheetah Classic. So if you don't know where it is just in case, it'd be in Legendary Mate Spot, go on that, scroll all the way down, um, at the time of recording you have to scroll a little bit further but it'll be there, but at the default price um, it's at $865,000 so it's a little bit money, but you know, not too expensive either so far. Now I'm going to show you basically all the customization options on this vehicle. Um, there's quite a bit, so which you'll see here is is quite a bit. Um, you know, got all the default option as well. So you know, a lot of all the vehicles and pretty much most of the vehicles do. But still, it's good to have this on a classic vehicle. Um, yet again, you can customize it inside the vehicles, um, fenders, all that kind of stuff. You know, all going through here really quickly. It's quite a bit of different options between each other, so that's quite nice. In the V spray as well, you, you can choose the trim color, which is very rare in many vehicles. So that's actually really nice. And of course, you've got all the different stuff here. If you want laser brands on the on the car, you can have that as well. I like that. It's it's good to have those different customization options, and especially on classic vehicles as well. It's actually nice to have that. Now, so we're checking the interior. Um, it's pretty good. It's okay. It's it's got a bit of sporty vibes ish and a bit of a classic as well at the same time. It's got a bit of both. So, you know, and you can actually see the back of the engine, the front as well, all the options. So. Of course, it's a two-seater, so just to make sure, <laughs> it's a two-seater, so, um, but yeah, it's it's nice in the inside and all around the vehicle, it looks pretty nice overall, it's a nice classic vibes to it, and that's what it's all about, obviously, that's in the name, obviously, but yeah, that's, it's got it in the name. So now we're trying the top speed and acceleration test, um, both are okay, or good overall, but um, out of one of the two, um, acceleration is better here. Um, Top speed is okay, but acceleration is pretty good. It's good for you want to turn corners and all that kind of stuff out the two. But you can use it in some races as long as it's not in straight line uh, tracks, you'd be fine really. But yeah, overall it's good for both. So now we're testing the handling and yeah, it looks pretty good. It's pretty average, I'd say. Um, it's not the worst either, you know, it's it's, it's fine. You'll, you'll get used to it. Um, yeah, just don't go top speeds there all the time with it and you might struggle a little bit but except for that though if you go even like moderate speed or maybe near the top of the speed it should be fine as long as you even just tap the brake button you should be fine it's overall good you won't be disappointed really either so now we're trying the brakes and at least at top speed as well when trying this and the brakes are pretty good and saying this when upgraded as well um yeah they're both really good you can't be disappointed on that now we're testing the vehicle off-road um you know, you might not use the vehicle off-road, but just in case if you use it for missions or whatever, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it, here it is really, and it's pretty good off-road, even going uphill here. Of course, that's where the acceleration kicks in, but overall, you should be fine off-road. You can be a bit confident at least with it, and you won't spin out so easily, so you should be fine off-road overall. So I'd like to give my final thoughts for this vehicle. Um, first question though, is it worth it? Yes, I think so, but only buy it as a collection vehicle or if you like nostalgia vehicles, you know, classic vehicles, all that kind of stuff, you know. But I wouldn't buy it for like racing or whatever though, not at least because there's better vehicles probably for the money maybe as well or cheaper if you want to do races. But if you want to have it for collection, all that kind of stuff, yeah, you might not. It's worth the money for that. Um, it's definitely worth collecting and that kind of vehicles if you're into that. But overall, that's it really. That's the main answer for it. So, um, yeah, that's it. So, if this video helped though, um, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. It's up to you. If not, check out the playlist, reviews, or tutorials. You never know. Scroll through. Something might be there. If not, thank you for watching this video, everyone.